Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in the town of Menton in southern France in a street lined with carob trees, Keratonia siliqua. In the background there are a couple older trees, I hope you can see them. Maybe about 40 centimeters thick. And here in the foreground there are mostly young trees. And one of those trees has a lot of ripe fruit. Here of course I'm filming against the sky, so it's quite hard to show you the fruit, but here I managed to take a couple of them. So here Menton is a really crazy place with a really crazy climate. If you walk around you see a lot of palm trees, big cacti, ancient olive trees, some of which could be thousands of years old. You see you see basically bananas grown for fruit, you see giant spurches, you see a lot of really subtropical stuff which is really more typical for the southern Mediterranean or the Canary Islands. And here you see a whole street lined with carob trees. Carob trees are not only nice ornamentals, they have a ton of different uses and they have been they have been part of the evolution of mankind from the very beginning. Carob trees, Seratonia siliqua, they originate from the near and middle east and people have been eating them since ancient times. Why have they been doing this? Look in. This fruit is kind of rotten. Mm, but the second one is still kind of good. Okay. The dry pots actually have a very high sugar content. The problem is at the same time they are quite tart and astringent. Well, that's the reason why in more modern times, they have been used more for animal fodder or as a food in times of famine. But in older times, this was one of the sweetest dried up foods which you could find hanging on the tree in deserts, semi deserts, and warm Mediterranean climates for several months throughout the year. So people like to eat them. Actually, a lot of those prophets and saints from the Bible, which retreated to the desert to meditate, they use this as their main staple because it's pretty much always available growing on desert trees. That's why it's called St. John's bread. It was the bread substitute that St. John used in the desert. But this tree was not only used for prophets, it was also used for prophets. You know, prophets and other people ate the hard pulp, the hard dry pots. But then, what you end up with are the even much harder seeds. Here is one of those. Actually, this one is uh, not well developed, so it's pretty, so it's quite a bad example for what I want to explain now, but I'm still gonna do it. Well, those seeds usually, when they're well developed, they're pretty much all of the same size and the same weight. So in older times, people used them to weigh very expensive stuff like like gems and expensive spices, but mostly gems and gold and stuff like that. Well, the name Keratonia siliqua, Keratos means horn, because the fruit are kind of horn-like. And this word, Keratos, later developed into the more modern word carrot the unit for weighting gemstones and the unit for the purity of gold. Why did it develop into the word carrot? Well, because 
people were using those seeds to weight gemstones. So one carat is the weight of one seed of Ceratonia siliqua or of the St. John's bread. Well, for gemstones it's quite easy. So a diamond which has 20 carats weighs as much as 20 of those little seeds. But what is a gold ring which weighs 20 carats? You can have a tiny ring which says 20, well usually it will not say 20 carats. You, uh, so you have a tiny gold ring which can have 20 carats and you also can have a big golden inlet which has 20 carats. They are completely different weight. Well, in this case, the carat is the measurement for the purity of the gold. Like the ancient Roman coin called Solidus was made of solid gold. When it was waiting, or how much was it? 24 or 25 carats. That means that, well, it's made of solid gold. But what is when the Solidus is not 24 carats, but 20 carats? Well, that means that 20 weight units of this coin are made from gold and the other four are made from, no, the other five are made from other more cheap metals. So, well, in the gemstones, the carat is a, basically a unit for weight. In gold, it's a unit for purity. Well, nowadays, we don't use those seeds for weighting gemstones anymore. What do we use them for? They're a little bit too hard even to give them even to the goats and donkeys to eat. The goats and donkeys will gladly eat the pots, but the seeds are a little bit hard. Well, nowadays, they are being ground up in machines and being used to congeal stuff, to congeal foods. Basically, you find carob seeds, uh, carob seed extract or carob seed, the contents of carob seeds in a lot of different modern foodstuffs, which in older times were congealed either with potato starch or with gelatin. But now a lot of them are being congealed with those little seeds. So folks, this was a quick overview over the different uses of the carob tree. Here once more, a couple of the pots hanging. By the way, as you can see from the pots, it's, it's in the bean family, in the Fabaishi family. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from beautiful subtropical menton. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.